Ты неправильно завязал коньки, что-то поем домой, сказал да, и мы ехали домой. Александра Трусова drives fans crazy all over the world. But 10 years ago, little Sasha was training hard in Ryazan. SPORT24 correspondents Konstantin Lesik and Anastasia Skopsova met with the Russian rocket in her hometown at the Olympic skating rink, where the first five years of the future figure skating superstar's career were spent. The interview was recorded in the choreography room. Sasha periodically picked up her dog named Lana and, without a shadow of a doubt, calmly talked about topics that she had previously been silent about. Ryazan and a funny story about grandpa. Sasha, how often do you manage to come to your hometown? When I first moved to Moscow, I rarely came to Ryazan, there was no time. But this is the second time I've been here since the Olympics. Do you have any memories when you walk through the ice palace where your childhood was held? I recently came to a master class. And I can't say that while working with children, I imagine a little myself. When I walk, I imagine, yes. I can imagine how I was doing on podcasts, on mass skating. I remember that well. I lived on the other side of town. My mother or grandmother usually took me to training. And once in four years, my grandfather took me. We arrived at the skating rink, he prepared me for going out on the ice, and I stood up and said, you tied your shoelaces wrong on your skates. He said, well, shall we go home then? I said yes. And we went home, laughs. What did you think about when you worked with young children at the master class? It was a pleasure to help them. At first I didn't quite succeed, because there were so many of them. I didn't know who to look at. Besides, there were coaches there. I believe that I cannot give hints when there are coaches of these children on the ice. Then the coaches moved away a little bit, and the guys started coming to me with advice. And only then I started training them, it was very interesting. Start. Your first coach Olga Shevsova said that, if we go outside with your portrait, everyone will recognize you here. Do you feel special attention in your hometown? I can give you an example of our current trip. We haven't been in Ryazan for a long time, and I've hardly been on the street, I literally got out of the car, went to the skating rink, but three people on the street managed to recognize me, then two more girls here. But I am recognized a lot in other places. Recently I was in St. Petersburg, and people coming towards me said, oh, hello. And there are a lot of such things in Moscow too. So I can't even say where more. Was there some strange request from the fans that you think this is too much? In general, I really like to be recognized, I like this popularity. But there are some moments when it manifests itself too strongly. For example, I don't like being approached on planes or airports. Sometimes you fly for a very long time, it's already night, and then it's fans' attention, strange. I also don't like it when I'm just photographed or filmed surreptitiously as I'm walking somewhere. Is it better to come up and ask for a photo? Yes. I do not deny it. Only if it's not some kind of event where there are a lot of people and I just physically don't have time to take a picture with everyone. What do the fans usually tell you when they meet? Most often, you can take a picture, or I recognized you. Recently there was a funny story with a taxi driver. He didn't recognize me, but he asked some leading questions about me. I asked, I asked. And then we passed a big banner with an ice show poster, and he was like, oh, I saw you on the poster just now. The most unusual place where you were recognized? Hmm, I don't know the Tretyakov gallery. Does great popularity discourage or on the contrary gives additional motivation? It's different for everyone. If we talk about me, when I was little, in my first international junior season, maybe it interfered. I don't feel that way anymore. Do you read the news about yourself? I read sometimes after the Olympics, smiles. But I don't pay attention to some things. In the comments of experts, you can see the opinion that you are focused on jumping and not paying enough attention to choreography, this is their opinion. I work a lot, not only on jumping, but also on skating. Last season I spent nights at the rink to improve my skating skills. I also worked a lot in this, I tried to invest as much as possible in the second assessment in my Olympic programs. Especially in a short one. Night training, wow. Yes, we skated with Dmitry Sergeyevich Mikhailov. 
We started at 9 p.m. and finished when we wanted. We skated as much as we could. One of your last demonstration numbers is set to the song of the Christmas tree I won't quit halfway. Can you tell his story? The program was staged by Daniel Markovich Glikengos and Terry Georgievna Tutbirds. There were many TikToks to this music. I liked her and I asked the coaches to do a number for this track. Which of your latest numbers do you like the most? I won't quit halfway, as well as our doubles number with Dmitry Sergevich. This is very unusual. I get a lot of pleasure at every rental. I like it when there are many different productions and there is a lot to choose from. At the Olympics, did you collect five quads in the free program? Which one of them was the most difficult for you to stabilize? Can I answer Axel? Ha ha. Okay, let's choose from the quads. Flip and Salkow are the most difficult. The most important thing is not to fall off the flip at the beginning of the program, which is the first jump. In case of a fall, more energy is spent, and Salkow is definitely not working. A triple axle is half a turn less than a quadruple, the less quads are given to you much easier. What's the catch here? Someone has a difficult Lutz. And I have the opposite, I can jump it at any time without any problems, because it's convenient for me. I don't have that on axle. It is difficult for me, because I have to control my body very much to do the right thing. Due to the fact that I'm worried at competitions, I can't achieve the necessary control. This is at other tournaments, I can't say anything about the Olympics, because I wasn't worried about it. Recently, the American figure skater Ilya Malinin was the first in history to perform the quadruple axle. Have you seen it? Of course I saw it. It's very cool, he's great. I thought that the quadruple axle would not jump so fast. But I hope he won't jump with the fifth one, smiles. Ilya calls himself the god of quads in social networks. Would you also like to be called a queen or a goddess? No, smiles. I'm not so sure of myself. Should I wait for a joint number with Mark Kondraduk? I don't know, laughs. We haven't thought about that yet. Why did you decide to put up joint photos and confirm your relationship? Firstly, we were photographed. Of course, we weren't going to hide it, but we were photographed every time we walked together. Then they posted our pictures. It wasn't very. I don't like that. It turns out that we can't walk normally quietly because of the constant photos. It's very strange. That's why we decided that we would post it. Moreover, the photos are beautiful. So you've seen all this news about your affair? Of course, I saw all this. It all appears on social networks immediately. Strange and not very pleasant. But when people ask for a photo with me and Mark together, we don't refuse. Even on vacation. We are also being approached in other countries. I think my hair plays a role here. Can I ask you, how long you've been together? Or are you avoiding this topic for now? Everyone knows that we are dating. And this information is enough, smiles. Do you have a habit of reviewing your performances? Successful, yes, of course. Sometimes I just want to watch a video from some tournament, and sometimes I watch my rentals from beginning to end. Starting with the video where I'm little, and ending with the last performance. I'm not doing this for anything, but just for myself. Which rental do you review most often? Since my first World Junior Championship. In the free program, Sasha was the first in history among girls to cleanly do two fours and win a gold medal. The tournament was held in 2018 in Sofia, SPORT24. Have you reviewed the free program since the Olympics? Yes, of course. I did everything I could there. This is a very good performance. What are you thinking about at this moment? I think about what I had in my head before the rental itself. I remember that I wasn't worried. At least not as much as usual. I don't know how I finally managed to tune into the rental. Now I can't imagine how I did it then. How it was possible to do everything at the right moment. Before that, at every tournament, I told myself. This is not the Olympics. These competitions are held every year. Nothing terrible is happening now. And then the Olympics itself happened and everything is different. What kind of memories do you have left from Beijing? A little bit not what I expected. We were only in the Olympic village and on the ice. 
because of this bubble, I can't even say that I was in China. But Olympic ice can't be compared to anything. It was interesting in the village. We walked together, took pictures on the rings. It was good. Can I say that you are happy with how the Olympics went? Yes. And the result in the form of a silver medal? I am 100% satisfied with myself. Without any doubt, I wouldn't change anything. I'm sorry for such a question, but many people remember your emotional attack after the free program. Don't you regret it? About the fact that I expressed my emotions in this way? Yes. I don't regret it. I cried once at the Russian championship. After that, the fans asked me not to cry anymore because they cry themselves. Since then, regardless of the performances, I tried to hide my emotions, keep smiling, not show anything. But at the Olympics it was beyond my capabilities. And I couldn't do it any other way. Do you hold a grudge against those journalists who filmed you at such a moment? I asked not to take pictures of me, I wanted to leave there and ask for it. But they wouldn't let me out of this room, even into the locker room. Only on the ice, for the award ceremony. That's all. But there were cameras everywhere. I tried to leave behind this room, to go anywhere at all. I tried to leave when other skaters were skating, when I was asked to give an interview. But I had nowhere to go. I just couldn't leave. Of course, I wasn't going to cry in public. It happened because there was nowhere to go. I didn't want it to be filmed, and I asked not to do it. But, what was, was. Five fours is a record and you've written your name into history. What is more important in this case medals or records? Records are always important to me. But this medal, the one that I think I deserved with my rental, was important to me. It is this medal. I don't regret the other medals that I didn't get because of my rentals. And in Beijing I tried, I achieved my goal. And only this medal was important to me. Olympic gold medal? Yes. Did you keep the silver one? Of course, it's at home, in the corner where all the medals are. At home there is a separate place for the Olympics, there is a bouquet, bing dong dun, my brother collected Legos, I brought him from Beijing. It turned out to be such an Olympic angle. One of the journalists said that you came to the Kremlin reception without your medal, and you took an award from Evgenia Tarasova for the award ceremony. Is it true? Yes, I took it from Genya. I just forgot my medal laughs. So this is not a fundamental point? I took silver at the Olympics, yes. But I wasn't going to show her there, I wasn't going to go anywhere with her. Well, in general, I take it everywhere at a minimum. As for that meeting, we were told to take medals there, and I just forgot. But I don't wear a medal on purpose to show someone. Fans write all sorts of things, so let me just clarify. Are you communicating with Anya Shcherbakova after the Olympics, is everything okay? Yes. Do your parents watch your rentals? Mom is watching, and always has been. Worried, but watching. Did her absence from the Olympics somehow affect you there? On the result, on my emotions, probably not. It's just that I haven't been without parents or dogs for so long. It never happened before that I was going somewhere alone for more than three weeks. Before that, it was at the World Championships in Stockholm, but there was only one week. When was the first time I managed to talk to my mother after the free program? I talked to her when Camila was driving. What did she tell you? Mostly I talked, and she listened to me, laughs. But mom said I was great for jumping. We've talked many times. Your dance in high heels has conquered social networks. How did you start doing this? I've always wanted to try the frame up strip, it's a kind of strip. I watched the new new dances, and the Annie team was there. I really liked the guys, I was rooting for them. It's a pity that we lost. I watched them at a massage once. The team comes out, its creator Nastya Yurasova is announced, and the masseuse says, I know her, I was familiar with her. They were together in some camps. I asked her to ask if she could study with me. She found the phone, asked and it turned out that Nastya had created this style at all. She does not give individual lessons, but she agreed to work out with me as an exception. For a month, two three times a week, I studied and then posted this video. But she says it's not really choreography yet, but a set of basic elements 
that we put on the music. Are you still studying? I didn't study on vacation, but now I will continue. What are your plans for the near future? Now we have training camps in Novogorsk. From there I'll go to the show, then I'll come back and train. I work like everyone else. Are there any ideas on programs? Not yet, smiles. Why did you decide to participate in the athletics tournament? In some interview I said that I wanted to try and I was invited to the tournament. I do not know why this caused such a resonance. Everyone is writing something, I didn't understand why this happened. Earlier you said that you plan to skate until the 2026 Olympics. Is there an understanding on long-term plans now? No. I do not know how everything will turn out. I have never competed since the Olympics, I can't say anything. Are you not considering a change of sports citizenship? No, I'm not considering it. What quality do you consider the main thing in people? Patience. This quality seems to me very important. Are Sasha Trusova on ice and Sasha Trusova off the ice two different people? Probably not. I try to be sincere always. I always try to be the same, I'm not trying to play someone. I'm always very sincere. Perhaps that's why they tell me that I'm not artistic in some programs. But I believe that everything should be sincere, and if I show any emotions, they should not be feigned. Perhaps it's not as visible as when people play on purpose. But I think that on purpose is not always beautiful. As I feel, so I do. What will Sasha Trusova do in 10 years? I will be 27 years old, most likely, I will already have a child. Because I want it. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Too much time will pass.